Hi guys, Sarah here. We are working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going back to one of my previous pours and the color sequences in it. And I might add uh, quinacridone magenta. I'm not sure I've mixed it up, it's on the side and we are going to get moving here. So I have Artist Loft white mixed with a little bit of satin enamel. And I'm going to come in with some 24K gold mixed one to one. And then I have Windsor Newton blue. After that, we are going to go, let's go with, with some white. Not too much, but just a little. And then I'm going to come in with 24K gold. I have Ice Blue by Folk Art. I have a Violet here. I come in with some white. I have Deco Art's Aquamarine. And I'm gonna follow that up with the winds are blue. So now I'm wondering if I want to add a little magenta. And then I'm gonna follow that. I'll do white. And then we're gonna do gold and that magenta is gonna kind of show up in the middle, I think, of the uh, composition. All right, so let's, we got the 24K gold. Let's go back to this violet color. And we'll come in with a little bit of white and then follow through with some ice blue and I'm gonna do a little bit of the Windsor blue and add some of the Aqua by Decor. Um, now here, let's come in with some white and then 24K gold. Come in with the violet. I'm gonna do ice blue. Windsor blue and let's do a little white and then we'll drizzle it with 24k. So that is our color palette for today. Some of these are colors that I have to use up, but so that is my lovely cup. And I have a white mixed up here. I'm gonna try to stretch that out just a little bit on the canvas. And then we are going to pour.
All right, look at the cup, so pretty. Okay, so let's give this a torch. Oh my God, adding that magenta, woo. So I'm just gonna let it percolate for a minute. <laughs> But that magenta showed up in here, and this is absolutely ethereal looking. Um, come in and just dabble with that. There we go. Totally looks like some wings going on in there. Okay, I'm gonna put this white over here. That's my special mix, so. And when I say special, it's from 2019. It's Artist Law Flow Acrylic. I'm just gonna spread out the base coat real quick. or the flow extender for that matter, because we want our puddle to stay intact. As much as possible. I might actually turn that TV off in the uh, other room because it is definitely distracting. So I apologize if you can hear it. Um, Nobody's actually even watching it. So I'll be right back. All right, there we go. You could hear it while I was pouring the puddle and I was trying not to breathe because I didn't want to throw anything off, but Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely love this and definitely came out different than my previous pour a few years back. I'll try and link that video in the description box for you guys. It's a very similar color combination, color combo um, as ethereal passage. Bubbles. I just wish we didn't have to stretch these things out. So, all right. We're going to come this way a bit. I want to realign it better with the corners. All right, I'm gonna go up to this corner over here first. My usual. Colors are gorgeous and we don't wanna go over, we're just stretching out the puddle. Always come back to center. You want to center your paints as you go. Uh, I'm going to come down here. Nope, I got to recenter. My weight of my paint is a little too off. There we go. I'm going to come back to the middle. I'm going to come this way. Try to line it up a little bit better this time. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for a moment. We're gonna give it a quick torch. I was not prepared, I need some paper towels. All right, 
it. Where's my torch? gonna bring this down just a smidge over and up again realigning everything over that corner we're gonna bring it back to middle and bring it back to middle <laughs> Sorry, guys, you can't see this. All right, we're going to come down. Yeah. Let's move it that way. All right. Back to middle. Love all these boulder cells in here. I come down. I'm gonna bring it back to middle. And I'm gonna realign it. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Very happy with what is going on here. All right, so I'm gonna re-twist it back to my orientation. I think I'm gonna go off this edge a smidge to get rid of that white area. There we go. Come back to middle. And I think I'm gonna leave it right there. Get my corners. I'm gonna take my gloves off because I want to get those areas right there in me because I'm like white with paint. <laughs> so, all right. So I have the leftovers in the cup and I'm going to come in and fix up this corner with the leftovers. I don't want, <coughs> pardon me, to stretch this out any further because this is just absolutely gorgeous and I don't want to lose any of this or that. So we are going to scrape the cup and then I'm going to come in here. I'll do it this way so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. love that there. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. All right, 
we are done and uh, we'll bring you guys in after I torch it one more time. Lots of air bubbles. That's okay though. There we go. All right. Let's bring you guys in for this. Look at this. This is so awesome. I would turn off the overhead lights, but then you wouldn't be able to see the sparkle. So we have these beautiful cells and boulder cells in here. I can't tell you how beautiful this is in person. There's so many colors going on in this. Oh, this area right here, killer, my favorite corner. All right, you guys have been amazing. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. See you soon. Bye for now.